Today we are going to learn about Beowulf, the story of a hero who defeated a monster and his mother became king, defeated a fire emitting dragon and finally died a heroic death. So let's learn about this exciting story. Hello everyone, this is Polumi Dash and you're watching English Literature with Polumi. So before going to today's topic, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications. The story of Beowulf can be traced back to the 8th century. It is a poem of 3000 lines divided into two parts. The poem is considered to be the earliest and the greatest of the epic written in English language. It is written in alliterative verse and the language used in the poem is basically Old English language. The Old English language looks something like this. So coming back to the poem, the author of the poem is fairly unknown and is named by the scholars as the Buell poet. The story of Buell starts with the King Rothgar of Denmark. He enjoyed a prosperous and a cheerful reign. He erected a mead hall naming Harrod for his warriors where they can drink and enjoy and feast. But the sound of merriment and enjoyment used to reach a sea monster naming Grandel living in the moorland of his kingdom. Grandel used to be very angry with the sound and he decided to kill everyone into Harrod. Grandel terrorizes every Dane and killing them and defeating their every effort to fight back. The Danes suffered fear, horror and death in the hands of Grandel. Beowulf, the hero of Gates, heard about the misery of Rodka and decided to help him. So, with a company of a few men, Beowulf reached Denmark and met the king Rodka. He assured the king that he will defeat the monster Grandel and save the kingdom. Rodger was very much hopeful of that young warrior and he arranged a feast for his honor. Beowulf and other warriors enjoyed the feast in the Harrod merrily. As always at night, Grandel crept into the meat hall to kill everyone. But Buell was very much awake to defeat him and they broke out in a fight. In the fight, Grandel immediately understood that he cannot defeat Buell and tried to escape. But Buell overpowered the monster and ripped off his one arm from his arm socket. In agony and in pain, the monster dashed out of Harrod and went into his moorland and he died of pain. The severe arm of the monster Grandel is hung high up into the meat hall as a trophy of victory. Overjoyed, Rodger showered Buell with treasures and golds and a feast. But another threat was approaching. Grandel's mother, who lived in a lake nearby, came to Harrod to avenge the death of her son. She seized one of the warriors of Rodka and devout him and sank back into the lake. For avenging the death of the warrior, Buell decided to end it once and for all. So heavily armed, Buell went into the sea and into the bottom of the sea, he found the monster. There he fought the monster and with a magic sword, he was able to kill the mother of Grandel. There also he found the dead body of Grandel and he severed the head of Grandel and went up into the land of Rodger and offered Rodger with that head of the monster. Rodger yet again showered Buell with treasures, golds and he was very much happy with the end of his miseries. But it was time for Beowulf to return back to his land. So with all the gifts and treasures from Rodka, he returned back to Geats 
and there he told the king about his adventures. The king of gate showered Buell with many more rewards and gates for his adventure. A few years later, the king died and Buell ascended the throne of gates and he ruled for 50 long years. He was a very much prolific king and into his rule the gate land was flourishing. But one day, a runaway thief went into a cave where there lived a fire-emitting dragon. The cave was full of treasures of the dragon and the thief theft a gold cup of his possession. Angry with the theft, the dragon started killing everyone into the kingdom. Learning of this new threat, now a 70-year-old Beowulf decided to fight this fire-emitting dragon and defeat him. So he went to the cave with a small company of his men. But all the people with only the sight of the dragon were so frightened that they all ran away, leaving only Wiglaf, who decided to stay by his king to defeat the dragon. A huge fight broke out between Beowulf and the dragon. Into the fight, both the sides were mortally wounded. The dragon died, but with him, the king Beowulf also died. The kingdom of Beowulf was in a deep remorse with the death of the king. They built a huge pyre onto which the king was cremated. And that is how the poem ended. That's it for today. In this video, we learn about the Anglo-Saxon poetry and also learn the story of the great epic of English language, Beowulf. In the coming video, we will come up with some other important topics. If you like today's video, do share it with all who need it. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to comment as well. So I'll see you on the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.